In recent months, there has been a new gemstone mining meta that has made players as much as 90 million per hour, requires almost zero setup, and surprisingly does not use the armadillo pet. This method is known as Jasper Mining, and today I will be equipping you with all the information you need to succeed in doing this method. We will discuss the structures to mine in, what gear you'll need, how to do it efficiently, but most importantly, how much you can expect to be making with your very own mining setup. By the end of this video, you should be an expert. So welcome to the ultimate Jasper mining guide. Let's start with the basics. Jasper is found in fairy grotto structures. These are a rare spawn anywhere in the crystal hollows, so you'll need to run around searching for one. Make sure you take these tunnels to cover the most ground. If you want to see the specific paths I take, I'll leave a video linked in the description that shows it. Mining Cult also has a service where you can buy them from other Skyblock players. However, not all fairy grottos are made equal. Some of them have as much as 15 veins of Jasper to mine, while others are practically unusable. These six are the six best types of grottos to mine in. It's not really worth mining anywhere else. But all of these grottos have a rare chance to generate in the magma fields. This allows you to use the bal pet to mine. You'll see why this is important in a second. This moves us on to the setup you'll need. It's nothing special, just your standard mining armor and tool. The only addition is an epic scather pet. You don't need a legendary for this method since an epic is cheaper and is far easier to level up, if you can afford a max level one. If you're really low on money, a rare will suffice. The only other thing you'll need is a legendary battle pet to swap to if you get a Magma Fields Fairy Grotto, since it's a 15% buff to Fortune, Mining Speed, and Pristine, leading to well over a 15% buff to your profits. As for your Heart of the Mountain menu, you want to take this path and make sure to disable Efficient Miner, because pristine procs do not work on blocks mined by it. And powder distribution for this method is pretty simple as well. I'll be using a total of 4 million 4 million powder for the demonstration, as it's the minimum amount I recommend to use for this method. Put on your mining gear, including holding your drill, then you can start to upgrade your perks using this method of doing so. First, split your powder into two halves. You do this to get an even spread of mining speed and mining fortune. Now keep the chart on screen in mind. Due to the way Minecraft itself works, there is only a difference in time it takes to break a Jasper Crystal when you reach a certain mining speed. These are known as tick thresholds. Put half of your gemstone and mithril powder into mining speed 1 and 2 to reach the highest threshold you can. Any powder left over can be invested into your mining fortune stats. And whatever remains can be kept to upgrade perks later or put into seasoned minemen to get more mining XP or powder buff to get more powder. Now that you've gotten all the gear you need, let's discuss how to efficiently mine. Then we can discuss what rates you can expect to be making from your mining setup. From the basic one, all the way to a hypermax setup. But first you have to subscribe, I always make sure to bring the highest quality guides to help you earn billions from mining. We are so close to hitting 10k subscribers and I have so much amazing content planned. Something a lot of people get wrong is using their mining speed boost at the wrong times. Depending on how fast you mine, it's okay to teleport to the next vein right before you use it even if you haven't fully mined the previous one. And if you have the money, remember to put a blue cheese goblin omelet on a second drill to swap to right before using your speed boost. It makes it a lot stronger, although you do have to get the timings right. You should also be selling Jasper Crystals on the bazaar as fine gemstones. It's the best type to sell them as if you want the most money. Although if you're somehow drowning in Jasper Crystals dropped from Nucleus runs, it's a good idea to make them in perfects. Although I wouldn't recommend doing Nucleus runs to make perfect gemstones. Unless you're an IMN player of course. Armadillo mining topaz veins is another useful optimization. If for whatever reason your grotto isn't infinite, doing this can still keep your profits high. One final optimization is to buy low day count grottos, mine in them and then sell them at day 10 plus. Because if you can't do a long session of mining, this is a good way to get some extra profit. Now that you've optimized your mining, I'm sure you're wondering how much you can make with your mining setup. The three tiers of gear we'll be looking at will be the same as in my gemstone mining guide. 
something you should really watch after this video if you're still progressing through mining. With the budget setup consisting of Soro armor and a gemstone gauntlet, you can make anywhere from 15 mil to 20 million per hour, depending on how efficient you are. These are already insane rates for the most basic setup, and are fairly common to see after picking up this method. But if your setup is a little stronger, consisting of Max Devan's armor and 6 million 6 million powder, you can make a whole lot more. That amount of powder might seem high, but if you've seen my powder grinding guide, it should only take you a day or two to earn that powder using some of the methods shown. But you can expect to be making anywhere from 35 to 40 million coins in one hour's worth of Jasper mining. However, if you have a hyper max mining setup, the best possible setup you can get, you can make 55 to 65 million coins per hour. These are insane rates that you're able to make, considering how little setup it requires. And now you're an expert Jasper miner. I hope you found this guide useful and are making massive profits from mining in fairy grottos. Let me know how much you're making in the comments. Let's see who has the highest. Check out some of my other videos and I'll see you next time.